Slow motion video has always been fun to watch, with the best rigs usually shooting on the scale of thousands of frames per second. But now the world's fastest camera, developed by researchers at Caltech, capturing the world at a mind-boggling 70 trillion frames per second. Fast enough to probe the nanoscale interactions between light and matter. This camera combines a laser that emits extremely short pulses of laser light that last only one femtosecond with optics and a specialized type of camera. The optics break up individual femtosecond pulses of laser light into a train of even shorter pulses, with each of those pulses capable of producing an image in the camera. But how does this camera work? In illustration section, the beam splitter pair followed by a glass rod converts a single femtosecond pulse into a temporally linearly chirped pulse train with neighboring sub-pulses separated by TSP, which can be tuned according to the experiment. In the imaging section, after a dynamic scene is imaged by an interchangeable lens system, the light path is split into two. In one path, an external camera captures a time-unsheared spectrum undispersed image. In the other path, the image is encoded by a digital micromirror device DMD, displaying a static pseudo-random binary pattern, and is then relayed to the fully opened entrance port of a street camera. To help expand images into a 2D view, the cup system lens captures photons emitted by the luminescent object being imaged, and then sends them through a tube to a DMD. This DMD is only around 15 mm .6 in, in diameter and contains about 1 million micromirrors, with each micromirror being just 7 microns square. A diffraction grating, inserted in front of the street camera, spectrally disperses the scene in the horizontal direction. After being detected by the street camera's photocathode, the spatially encoded and spectrally dispersed image experiences temporal shearing in the vertical direction inside the street tube first and then spatiotemporal spectrotemporal integration by an internal camera. The street camera, at the end, acquires a time sheared spectrum dispersed image. The CUSP system is based on an earlier technology developed by lead author of the study Li Hong Wang. The original version, known as Compressed Ultrafast Photography CUP, managed a top speed of 100 billion frames per second back in 2014. By 2018 the team had managed to shoot at 10 trillion frames per second, using an advanced version of the tech called T-CUP. And in this version 70 trillion frames per second. Other teams are using different types of technology to capture these fleeting events at high speed. Japanese researchers managed 4.4 trillion frames per second in 2014, and a Swedish team topped 5 trillion in 2017. Next week, we'll be back with another interesting scientific article. Subscribe us to see the next videos.